Hey guys, so we're picking up where we left off last time. I've got the back panel and the front panel all done. We're working on this wheel well. Now this thing is completely rusted out. Um, there's bare, the only good metal is after the second curve here. So what we're gonna start with is replacing the inner lip then we'll replace the outer lip. Now if you're working on a car other than this 79 Brat, you might be able to find a donor car where you could just cut the whole wheel well out and tack it back in. But with this, we can't find parts and nobody makes an aftermarket stamp. So we're gonna have to make this from scratch. So piece by piece, we're gonna put this together. First thing we gotta do is cut out this old lip. Now there's two layers, so we wanna be real careful when we cut this, only to cut the outer layer. Okay, so what we've done is we know we have to make this whole lip with a 90 degree turn on it, but we want it slightly rounded so it matches the other side. There's no way I'm gonna form this unless I do it in like 30 some pieces on the car. So I've taken a piece of post board and traced the exact arc that's on the opposite side. We're gonna go ahead and trim this out, use the negative side of it, and make it out of plywood, heavy gauge plywood, so that we can actually put a piece of sheet metal on here and start bending it and breaking it till we get this curve. So now it's time for a little woodworking. Let's get this made up. All right, so I've taken three layers of plywood, screwed it together so that when I cut it, I get the exact same curve on all of them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sand these the same way, still screwed together. All right, so look, this is what I did. I took three pieces of ply, clamped them together, cut it all out. On the top layer, I did a 45 inch or 45 degree bevel on it. Now the reason I did that is so when I'm swinging the hammer, I can actually hit close to it, okay? If it was straight up and down, you couldn't get the hammer in there to be able to hit right on that edge. Then we took the router and gave it a very small rollover on the second piece. That way it'll shape it, it won't be real sharp, it should come over. Now, I've screwed and bolted this thing together to try to keep this piece of metal from moving because if it moves, what was the point, okay? The only thing that has me worried about this mold that I made is this end here is really thin and I'm afraid that when I really start waylaying it that I'm gonna break the wood there. So hopefully these bolts will help keep it in place. We're gonna have to tighten them periodically because they might shake loose. But I'm gonna start in the middle here and start gently rolling it over. We don't wanna do it all in one shot. We wanna just work it all nice and slow back and forth, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see if we can get this thing shaped. Now it's starting to roll in. So what we're gonna do is we know we only need three quarters of an inch of metal in here. So we might put some small reliefs in here just to help it fold the rest of the way.
All right, there you have it. And I've gone ahead and marked how wide the piece needs to be all the way around. So I'll take the, the cutoff wheel and cut this now, get that ready to go, and then we'll have our piece. All right guys, there's our wheel well, the outer ring on it. So now we can take this and start working it into the car and then the actual flare piece. But this was the piece that was completely rusted out and we had to replace. All right, we've got the piece pinned in. I used um, some Clicko pins that I got from Dagger Tools when I was in Kentucky. I bought this little pack. Comes with a tool, 15 fasteners, a couple other things. I actually forgot I had it. And uh, for some reason today I was digging around and I came across it. So it's perfect for this situation. So I don't have to rivet it. I can just put the pins in temporarily and work on the next piece. So these will definitely help out. All right, well, we got our template. Let's lay this out on flat metal and see if we can cut it out. All right, so we've got our piece cut out. We've laid it up. It looks pretty good. It's gonna have a few little gaps, but I think we can work with it. So now the whole trick the, now is we're gonna cut away at this line about a quarter inch inside of it. That way we still have some metal to butt up to. Now because there are two pieces coming in an angle like that and it needs to be a swoop, what we're going to do is just tack it and then we'll use the Bondo to shape that curve. So right now, zip it off. So as you can see, by putting a ton of relief cuts in it, I was able to curve this where I need it so we can move forward. All right guys, as you can see, all the panels are completely made. Everything's tacked in, ready to go. So on the next one, we'll do some Bondo on it, but right now it's too cold out. We got another week or two before it's warm enough to do it. So we'll end up priming it, letting it sit until we can actually take and do the Bondo. So anyway, do me a favor. If you like this video, 
like and subscribe and if you want to see something else over here all right guys have a great night